Welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Thursco Learnings and once we have talked about object keyword and we have also seen that how to use singleton design pattern in Kotlin. Now again you could have done the same thing in Java as well, right? But then we have to do some extra step in Java and Kotlin makes your work very easy. What we're going to do now is let's try to understand one more use case of object. In fact there are lots of uses of it, let's see one more. Now if you remember. Uh, when it comes to Java, we all we also have a concept of anonymous inner class. Now again, if you don't know that, you can refer my video on anonymous inner class on YouTube. Uh, and so you just search for anonymous inner class, the list score, you will get the, the, get the video. Now, why do we use anonymous inner class? So let's go for an instance. Let's say if you have an interface here, and if I name this interface as alien, as we all are aliens here, and okay, instead of, instead of alien, let's go for human, because I, I, I guess lots of people have a problem by using that alien keyword there. So let's say we have an interface which is human and in this human interface, we all know that we all think. So I will say, I will get a function and I will name this function as thing, as we all think, right? So we got this interface and we are creating a function called thing. Oh, we are working in Java code, right? So I should be writing void thing. That's weird, right? So when you're coming back to from Java to Kotlin, Kotlin to Java, this is what happens. Now, what I want is I want to create an object of human. I, I, again, we cannot instantiate a uh, human directly because it has an interface, right? So what we have to do is when I say human, uh, let's say a programmer equal to, now when I say human programmer equal to, of course we cannot say new human, right? Because that's an, that's an error. It will not work because human here is an interface, right? This will not work. So what we can do is we can create a class and that class will extend human class. As we all know, uh, we can create a class which extends, which implements your human. And then you can create object of that class and you, your work will be done. The another way is you can directly create an anonymous inner class. What it means just after your new human, just, I mean, just after your object, uh, you can simply write, uh, uh, you can open the curly brackets and close the curly brackets. Okay, that's weird. Okay. So let me just shift that pointer to somewhere. Okay. Let me just keep it, keep it, keep that here. And Okay, so as you can see, we are we are writing new human here. Now, if you want to make it work, you have to define that method, right? So we are saying public void think, and we can just open the bracket and close the bracket, and then you can print whatever you want to print. Uh, we'll say s out, and I will print. Uh, okay, I will print thinking virtually or think virtually because programmers always think in virtual world, right? So we say think virtually. Okay, so we got this interface and I can, uh, once, I, once I got the instance, I can say programmer dot, hey programmer think. And if I run this code, if I right click and say run as, I mean run main, uh, you can see, uh, we'll, be, we'll be getting the output in some time and here we go. You can see we got the output as think virtually, right? That's how it works. That's how you can create or we can use anonymous inner class in Java. But how can you achieve this in, in Kotlin? Can I, can I create something like this in Kotlin? Uh, not exactly, but we, yeah, we have a way to do that. Now, first of all, we need interface, right? So I will create the same interface here as well in the, in the Kotlin environment. I will say, uh, interface, I will name this interface as, oh, it's, let's see. Okay. I will name this interface as human. Okay. That's my interface here. And in this interface, I want a function to be called as thing, the same function, which we did there. Again, there's no need of a semicolon here. And in inside my main method, I want to create object of, or I want to instantiate human here. So if I say var programmer, that's how we create object, right? And I want object of human. So the type of object I want is human. If I say equal to, now the problem is I have to use a class. I cannot say, I cannot say human bracket, right? That's what that will not work because human is an interface. So what can be done? So if you want to use anonymous in a class here, we can simply say, Hey, I want an object. So we can simply write an object. But then what kind of object you need? So I want an object of type human, right? And we'll open the curly brackets and close it. So that's how you implement it here. Uh, again, we can use the space. Again, they, it's depend upon you how much space you need. I, I always make sure that I put that below the object itself. Okay. And here we can say override. I want to override the function, right? Which is thing. So we'll write think. And here we'll print uh, what thinking think virtually. Okay. So that's, that's how you, that's how you create an instance or that's how you create a instance of, of programmer. And then at the end you can say, Hey programmer, 
thing. And then of course, it, when you run this code, uh, if I right click and if I say run first code KT, and I, I guess you'll be getting the same output there. And yes, we got the same output, which is the thing virtually, right? And that makes sense, right? So this is your Java code. So in order to use anonymous in a class, we use this syntax in Java. And in order to use anonymous in a class in Kotlin, we use this syntax. So this is the use of object keyword here. So using object keyword, we are creating this instance. Again, you can use this instance only once, okay? This instance is not reusable. And that's why it makes sense to use object, right? So somewhere it is, we are getting only the one, what you say, we are getting only one instance of it on, uh, indirectly, right? So we are saying human override fun thing and then we got only one instance of this. So yes, if you want to go for anonymous inner class, we'll go for this object keyword. Again, do remember this because in future also we'll, we'll use this concept a lot. So make sure you practice this code before going for the next uh, subsequent videos. So I hope you understood the concept of anonymous inner class in Kotlin. Uh, again, if you are not familiar with anonymous inner class in Java as well, I would recommend you to uh, watch the video first. Uh, that's the, okay, can you see that we got an error because they both the class belongs to the same package, the human and human. But that's okay, right? The code is working, that's what, that's what is important here. Okay, so do practice this and we'll see in the next video where we'll talk about the companion object. So that's it guys, uh, see you in the next video. I hope you are enjoying my session, so do click on the like button if you're enjoying this and make sure you share the, share the video with your friends as well.